Five already? Oh my god, you're right. Oh, we didn't even... I'm supposed to be a secret. Uh, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry. Most of the people probably won't get here for another. <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe a day, sure. really. We may be sitting here all day waiting all right. for an audience. Well, I'll go incognito here right. for a hot in, second. Incognito yeah. mode. <laughs> okay, where do we, oh, where do I find I, you? The camera died um, just before Patrick threw the blanket over. Well, while we're sitting here, hi, welcome to the Cahoots Cast, the podcast where yeah, uh, really an indeterminate amount of us get together and talk about arts and culture. Where do I look? Um, <laughs> what camera? There's a there's a there's a hidden camera inside of the microphone. <laughs> uh, I'm Dylan, uh, and these are I've just brought some people to hang out and talk on their cell phones. I'm gonna talk it to you guys. Says we're live. That was the test. That's yeah. Those are the tests. We'll take okay. those down later. If you're watching uh, right no, now, we have, we have to wait till box. Then, I just, I just posted because then we're just oh, we're working on our so on our technical difficulties. Show up now. I don't know how to refresh. Mm, I'll just, just keep like, I'll just keep <laughs> the crowd entertained <laughs> with a little shoulder movement. Shoulder movement. Yes. Yes. Boom. Boom. That's good, Dylan. That's really Thank good. You. <laughs> oh, nice. He works hard for the money. He uh, worked hard for it. Honey? It still is not showing up. I don't know. Ask Dylan. Patrick, may I delete? Oh, that's our, that's our old live stream. There should be... Yeah, so, interview, when it, it, it's, it's actually a, a, a YouTube that stream that's being shared to Facebook. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And no, I, don't is that from, um, I have no idea. I guess I will. That no, doesn't look quite dressed. Oh, yeah, you can dress. It's already uploaded. Is this your producer costume? This is Justin me. I need to know how to share with my yeah, fans. I, sh I sh just posted. Try to uh, pull what it down. What do I need to watch out for? And scroll down a little bit. The computer catching on fire? Oh, yeah. The, compu the uh, computer will yeah. almost certainly uh, catch on fire. The uh, first time um, we're really live streaming because Bob. We are live. There we go. Oh, it, did it take a second? That yeah, it just showed up. Oh, now. okay. Bob, uh, Bob has got us all set up with an actual proper live streaming setup instead of me just trying to do it through whatever the whatever Stone Age software I was using last week. So hopefully, help me, Rondo, help, help. you're watching a really crisp, <laughs> occasionally choppy stream with at least decent audio. Here it is. Oh, it went down. Down. So then I share yeah. it to yeah. my Facebook. Yeah. So right, uh, share now. Yeah. Welcome right to Facebook there. Lessons. Uh, this is our <laughs> weekly show where we invite on a guest and we tell them how to share our Facebook posts. Or that might have we, we've gotten so desperate. We've gotten so desperate that we're just inviting people over and then making them share our posts. <laughs> Excellent. We don't talk to them about what they do anymore. We just tell them what we do and make them share it with their, with their friends. So this is important. I, I have a fan base. Yeah, so, <coughs> so I, go to my Yeah, go to your wall you, that you just posted. Here's me, isn't that pretty? <laughs> I'm gonna share it on Facebook. Um, yeah, okay, so it went to your OBS is running. Oh no, it did. As yeah. long as it still Perfect. says streaming. Awesome. I can or it'll say yeah. stop stream <laughs> and it'll tell you kind of, there'll be a color there that tells you the health of the stream, but Yeah, it still okay. says stop streaming. Why do I have this did blanket? You, you hit record? Cause oh yeah, we were nope. gonna do a big I'm, unveiling. I'm, yeah, unveiling. <laughs> oh yeah. Don't worry, we can still do that because Dylan didn't record while streaming, so, so we're, technically we're all we're all, we are live, but it's Maryland. not being saved. Okay. So now we are. Okay. Okay. Now right. we're live. So let's do a second up. intro. Hi, welcome to the Cahoots Cast, the podcast Woo! where four of us get together and get off topic of arts and culture. I'm Dylan. I'm Bob. I'm Susan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm for a second. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> I'm Susan Sykes, the famous artist from Walkerton, Ontario, Canada. <laughs> and I'm Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> we none of us got subtitles. <laughs> Tune in, Billy. Seriously, this is super hot. So yeah, we uh, we we told Susan that she was going to be a surprise, uh, and then uh, I started the stream while she was sitting in front of the camera. So. <laughs> What can you do? But for those of you just tuning in, <laughs> <laughs> it can still be. Who's Surprise. it? Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to what is, uh, like, I think I'm majorly responsible for how scattered this morning has been, but it has effectively made this the most you know, interesting Cahoots cast yet. You know what? That's what creativity is all about. Yeah, like diving point. into with whatever. Mm -hmm. See, I <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, Matt behind the camera this week producing. Can you He's just fly by the camera? Can you have this view? Oh yeah, cake? come show, come show oh, the audience. Come. Show share, your, your share. Cake. Look at no, go slow, go slow, go slow. Pause, pause. <laughs> <laughs> 
Good nope. luck dealing with that, streaming. <laughs> yeah, that's it's going to be like a chop. It's going to look like, like just stop motion animated guy spinning. I was trying to go fast enough, but I could see myself. <laughs> Well, welcome to the Cahoots cast. Uh, this is our first real live episode. Last week we did have Yarko on. We didn't get the stream, but go watch the videos we did with him because they were great. But on that's old news. On to what's new. Uh, what's, uh, what was the, oh yeah, news. <laughs> I, I kind of know the format of this show. Uh, so, my a very short news segment this week. Disney's uh, D23 Expo was yesterday. Did anyone, is anyone what's in there? What's a D23 Expo? That's just their, like, their, like, you know, Comic-Con. Yes. Oh. So it's, it's like, like Disney Disney's Comic-Con. Comic-Con. Oh, yeah. that sounds awesome. That so sounds... they show <laughs> footage for the new <laughs> Avengers movie, which okay. I'm excited about. I haven't seen it yet. I don't think it's been leaked yet. <laughs> and uh, But they also announced a new Toy Story oh, and a new sweet. Incredibles. And I am incredibly excited. I actually think the Toy Stories are getting progressively better, yeah. which is like something you can't say often for when they have like four movies out of the same uh, series. Yeah. yeah. Technically, yeah. like they had announced Toy Story 4, but it was supposed to come out like this year. So they re-announced it. Yeah. Um, but they, they announced the director. I'm not sure who it is, but I'm incredibly excited. They I don't made, really they know where they're going to go. Man. I just cried. I actually yeah. cried in the Toy Stories. Okay. I know when Sarah McLaughlin starts singing. And... <laughs> is it Sarah McLaughlin in that movie? <laughs> He's saying a song for the second one. Yeah. Is that the second one? Yeah. When somebody loves you. Oh, that one. Yeah. Yep. Oh my goodness. Yeah, We're all gonna start crying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this the first ten minutes of this podcast is the first ten minutes of up. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's just crying by the end of it. It's like, but the rest of the movie's about a kid with balloons. <laughs> What's your favorite Disney movie? Do you have one? No. No? <laughs> Do you like Disney movies? <laughs> Um, I think we... Why are we asking these questions? This is live. Disney's art. Because um, <laughs> I do love Disney movies. But yeah. I can't think of one. Pocahontas. That's a good yeah. one. That's Pocahontas. a great show. <laughs> the Colors of the Wind. My kids are teenagers <laughs> now. They're, they're like, Mom, we're talking about Disney movies with old dudes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're live on Facebook, Mom. <laughs> You're embarrassing me. Yeah, <laughs> So, next question. <laughs> next question. Yeah, um, let's just talk about you, Dylan's coffee. So We're good. I'm, I'm really concerned. I'm yep. really concerned. That's why I'm pointing it this way. You'll all yeah. be fine. Dylan <laughs> does not have a coffee cup. Yeah, when you, every... yeah. Is there coffee? What are you going to yeah. pretend to drink out of? Yeah, like he's always like oh. grabbing... <laughs> you maintain leave. a holding pattern. Okay. <laughs> you can leave during the live broadcast. <laughs> All right, Susan, let's talk a little bit about what you let's do. Talk let's talk about it. Yeah, let's, let's talk about let's Susan. Nope. <laughs> 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 Matt, yeah, Matt will fill in for Dylan here. Okay, so what do you do? Tell everybody what you do. That I know do you. a whole bunch of things. Yeah. Um, oh my goodness, I've got a list. What do I do? <laughs> what are you doing? Incognito. I am the knight. <laughs> Uh, so you do paint parties? I do. I do. Actually, been doing paint parties even way before they started calling them paint parties. So that's a yeah. long time ago. Um, so uh, just parties, or was it like you just called it paint? Paint. <laughs> paint by a number. No, paint parties. Paint? Totally. So uh, my shtick is oh, it's I, too hot. I go to people's <laughs> homes. Yeah. And are they allowed to talk while we're talking? They're not supposed to be. They're just being rude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you go to people's homes. Yeah, so I take the paintings to them. So it's it's a really special deal that they can, you know, just bring bottles of wine, lots of chocolate, mm -hmm. and I show up with all the supplies, and we have a great time. So, yeah, paint parties in your own home. That's me. <laughs> but I'm also a creativity coach. That's super cool. Um, and I What teach. is that? That's cool. Yeah, like a that's... creativity coach. I've never even actually heard of that. Yeah, what so that? I'm actually a master creativity coach. And the only reason why I went through the program to get my master was so I could stand in front of the TV while my teenage children and say, I am the master. <laughs> okay, mom, step aside. But no, so um, yeah, creativity coaching is just helping people get to where they want to go. Um, so if they have a project in mind, and it doesn't have to be creativity. I've actually coached a lot of teachers. So it's if you have a dream or a vision and you just you know have all those stumbling blocks that are common um, in trying to get somewhere, I can help you and guide you getting there in a very um, creative way. It's it's sort of like allowing um, allowing sidesteps along the way. So there's not this A B C D. You can go A yeah. to F back to C, yeah. and there's permission to cool. do all of those uh, 
Yeah, yeah. detours. That's awesome. Detours, welcome. Did you kind of create that ti- that title? Or no, no, that, I've, like, I've I've been I yeah. went through a training. For, okay. Yeah, it's called Kaizen Muse Creativity Coaching, actually, and Kaizen is small step approach. That's what Kaizen means. So cool. Yeah, small okay. spe- steps of getting to where you want to. So go. It's, is it kind of is it kind of like life coaching, but through no, art? I, or no, like, mm, yeah, um, no. Not really like that. No, you should just have a. I guess we'll see. I guess yeah. we'll kind of see. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. We're, so it, just as a little teaser for what's coming later this week, we're actually going to do some painting, uh, which uh, is like, yeah, I know. It gets really hot it's, in here. Doesn't you it? have a fan here. Yeah. Let me move. You guys are seeing behind the curtains. Now that it's live, not that I ever cut anything out before. <laughs> but, but now that it's live, you're seeing it in the moment, us talking about how, how sweaty we are. Yes. Yeah. Real, 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 real immediacy life, to Real life stuff. stuff. Bring to that. Now, yeah. I want to ask you, like, as a creativity coach, when you're when you're coaching someone, like, what do you think? Like, because I know my main stumbling block is just not, and I, I've got. I was hoping to save this for the topic, but I, I'll give a tease to it. Okay. When you're when you when you're into someone who just like can't like writer's block. Yes. For example, like, what is your like what is, not to give it away for free, but what like how do how do yeah people we can do one here. I don't know if you want to do that live or in the tape. I always have writer's block, so yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay, sure. so always. Always, yeah. When's the last time you had writer's block? Uh, every time I sit down to write. So. When's the last time you've written? Uh, it's been a couple months. It's been a couple of months. So yeah. has that happened before? Yes. Yeah. Like all the time. So has there been a time where, um, where you ha- where you found a way to get over that? Um, yeah, I guess when I just write through, like, which I know sounds like well, that's the solution to writer's block. But when I just write, even though I'm not writing anything important, like sometimes... Um, I take a book and I'll write, I'll just copy what mm-hmm. they wrote in like a, just a book I, I, I like or an author I appreciate and I'll write down what they I just dictate basically. Into the computer. So oh, you have a solution. You know yeah. how to work through that. It's yeah. worked for you in the past. Yes. Yeah. So that's obviously something that's already in your tool bag that you can retrieve and, and access yeah. because it's worked for you. And if we were on doing a phone, because I do creativity coaching on the phone, um, I would invite you to get a piece of paper and then I would do um, an exercise that would engage you into, you know, doing some brainstorming, um, some really fun, because you need to loosen up, right? Yeah. Uh, Because all these fears are keeping you locked in. So these, these creative little prompts, and then we would have this fun experience, which in fact, you will be writing. Yeah. And so, so then you can no longer say, I, I have writer's block, mm-hmm. right? Because you're writing. So remove yeah. the language and say, oh, yeah, it's okay. It might be a little shitty, <laughs> but, yeah. you know, that's okay. Um, you know, taking that expectation out of it, yeah. um, that perfection um, quality that carries through a lot of artists. Because mm-hmm. art isn't back. really about perfection, right? No, like, it's yeah. about expression yeah. and being authentic and raw in that moment. So... Right yeah. Yeah, that's so awesome. that's a little snippet, but <laughs> well, uh, but let's just go right into the topic I planned. Unless someone else had something no, they wanted to go into. Yeah. Okay. Well, I wanted to talk about where inspiration comes from. Uh, I one of my favorite writers, Dan Harmon. He was talking about a therapy session that he had, where his therapist said, "Is God? Do you find God in your writing?" And he was like, "He's not a particularly religious person." But he's like, "Yeah, I think that whatever God is, I feel like I'm channeling that when I'm writing." She's like, "Well, then let let you just say to whoever you think God is." Um, you you take care of the quality and I'll take care of the quantity. And I, that's interesting. I've never really thought of it as like I'm channeling something. Yeah. Uh, but I know a lot of artists do. I was wondering what you guys think of where does inspiration I, come from? Yeah, my I, I always like, I, I watched an interview with Anthony Kiedis, actually. I'm a big Chili Peppers fan. And it was, uh, that was a question to him. It's like, what, where do you get your inspiration? And he kind of goes, oh, the age old inspiration question. And he was sort of like, he sort of poo-pooed the question a little bit, and he says, you get inspiration from everything. You get yeah. inspiration from the sun, from your buddy, from, you know, the, the water, from a duck. Like, yeah. he's like, exactly. anything could be inspiration, That's right? exactly what I would have piggybacked mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. Um, because if we limit ourselves to having inspiration for one certain thing, I mean, oh my goodness, we're in lack. Yeah. 
you know, because absolutely, like there's a bright red light. Let's use that as our inspiration. You know, the daisy mm -hmm. hat, like everything, your glasses, yeah. your brim, the colors, the shadows, mm -hmm. um, for sure. I think inspiration can come from anything and everything. As long, yeah, as long as you have an open mind for it, you have to kind of just be prepared to, yeah, yeah. yeah right, for sure. just yeah. show up. So how do you, like, when, when you get that inspiration then, like, how do you decide, because if everything's inspiration, then how does the artist in you go, like, this is that worthy point or is or is there something that's worthy or is it just whatever catches you and takes you in that direction like what what is it that ends up getting through the filter yeah i think um, many artists are very different in their approach and mine has always been as well as in my teaching and the workshops that i do um and what i instill in everyone is that um you know let's remove the limitation like totally so you're, you're gathering up all this inspiration. I love using nature, Mother Earth. Um, I bring all of that into, into my painting and my work. Um, and so, and then just sort of intuitively, I do a lot of intuitive work. So expressive arts, everything that's inside, removing judgment and just let that be, you know, let that creation be what it needs to be. Once we get into our heads and our mind and thinking, okay, but this isn't the way I envisioned it and it needs yeah. to go like this, to me, that's not, that's not giving yourself fully to the mm -hmm. canvas. Yeah. There's this, you know, oh, I got my color palette all set up, you know, and there's something rich and exciting about just yeah. experiencing the painting yeah, in no every editing. moment, right? Yeah. No editing. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Exactly. That's so interesting, actually, because I, like, I, for some reason, the, the metaphor in my brain was like extruding something. When, when I'm being creative, like a, like a paint tube and you're squeezing it out. Like mm. the, you've got this finite amount of space to get it through and whatever comes out, comes out. And like, it, but it's like a forceful process or giving birth. Mm -hmm. Like you've got this thing and there's pains in, in, in getting it out of you. Yeah. But I guess it doesn't have to be that. Like, no, if and you open yourself up wide enough, there's exactly. no reason why. Yeah, and I think we're gonna do a painting exercise together, right? Yeah. And you guys will be able to experience that firsthand. So. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. And we can still get the extruding experience by squeezing the paint out of the tube. <laughs> yeah. So we can get both ends of the spectrum. <laughs> uh, so okay, paint parties. I wanted to ask because I, I we had uh, someone else on who does sort of a similar. Uh, Jessica Cormier does a similar sort of thing, and. I was saying to her, like, I am terrible at painting. Like, I, I, and she was like, no, you're not. You just never tried. Right. But I was, I was curious, like, when someone's at one of these parties and, and they're, like, because when you see someone struggling or not having fun with art, mm -hmm. you can, you, like, you can see it. Like, you can see when someone's yeah. doing it and they're not enjoying it. Like, right. well, how do you help people get past that, like, sort of barrier? Yeah. So I, my approach to paint parties is very different to many of the paint parties. Many of the paint parties mm -hmm. have a sample. Um, and there's a clear color um, coding that what's going to take place and what brush goes where and you put this up here and this triangle down here. Um, my paint parties are very different in the fact that um, I have a little spiel at the beginning and really allowing people to just be present. And, you know, today we're about having fun. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. You know, again, coming into the heart rather than the head. And I usually tell them if they have difficulty with that, that's normal. That's part of the coaching language. Yeah. But also, like, drink lots of wine. <laughs> 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 if, the, if the wine's handy, just dive into that. But you don't know the paintings get progressively <laughs> shittier. No, so that's the to open up. Um, but have the you other... seen Renaissance paintings? <laughs> <laughs> but the, but the thing wine. is, you know, um, we show up as adults. We're, we've come to the paint parties because we're here to have fun, but then they forget how to have fun. So if you do, I usually suggest your inner child, your five-year-old that's inside of you, knows how to have fun. So I invite them to bring their inner child to the table. So, um, yeah. Got a bunch of inner childs drunk on red wine. <laughs> Is that legal? That's not <laughs> grow up, and then you can have some wine. <laughs> but then... You kid again. Pay, pay, pay. So the approach is um, I give them a very basic uh, sample instruction of technique um, that's really easy to apply to their painting. And I give them, um, it's building uh, lots of different colors. You get to choose your own colors that inspire you. Why would I make you paint like a blue canvas if you're really charged by fuchsia? Mm -hmm. So paint the colors that you're charged by because, you know, hopefully you're hanging it on the wall and you're proud of it afterwards. But to your question, like how do you work through the fear? Um, I think that's a lot to do with my coaching. 
Um, I'm, I, I'm aware, I have a huge awareness of what's going on for people when they're engaged in the creative process. Um, so I know the right cues, I know how to check in with them that builds their confidence yeah. and it gives them permission and allowance to, to just be in this moment. And what I always say to them, you know, let's get real, we're just painting a shitty painting today, you know? <laughs> um, again, lowering that expectation. That's true, that's yeah. the hardest right? thing. Even yeah. if, I, if it's I'm not songwriting, going into a gallery like, just now. Yeah, so, you know, just play, have fun. Like, yeah. like, but, and, but you, you were saying something about songwriting and it's totally... I, I think I know where you were going, but I'll let you yeah, finish it. As soon as I said I'm like, yeah. yeah. I, mean, like, I, I always sit down and I rate even before I sit down. It's like I am always thinking like, what are people gonna say about yeah. this song before I even start oh, sometimes? Yeah. And it's like, and I'm always worried mm -hmm. my lyrics are gonna end up too quirky and yes. weird. And, or, but, or how does it? Or fit what's with the my girl that I'm writing yeah. the song about gonna think about this song? Yeah. Or, yeah. or like the the ex girl or, gonna think yeah, about or, this song like, I'm writing about her? Would like, anyone of my friends care about the fact that I wrote this song about this thing? is like well shut up Patrick like why are you talking about yeah. yourself and singing along a little ditty like it's like it's yeah. kind of it's it, there's like an insecurity that comes along with it yeah until so, yeah so what if you had like Pooh Bear sitting on the table yeah. I'm gonna write you Pooh Bear this song just for you yeah you know and trick your mind trick your creative thoughts to focus this one's for you babe you know yeah. <laughs> and totally. it's sort of because then you, it stops your mind from wandering yeah so, there you no, go one awesome. of my favorite artists Todd Snyder he's a music folk musician He's got this great line. He opens almost all his shows with. He says, "I'm going to be singing you a lot of songs tonight about my ideas, but I'm not singing them for you because I think they're right. I'm singing them for you because they rhyme." <laughs> <laughs> I just love that. Yeah, like, that's it's, really it's good. The absolutely, like that's the pinnacle of just being like. I'm not trying to make you think what I think. Yeah. I'm trying to show you what I think. And so, sometimes and these songwriters, you ask them like that, like James Taylor, "Fire and Rain" is one of my favorite songs ever. Like, and it just there's something like the imagery just really hits you. And and it, and I saw an interview with him too. They asked him, "What's that song all, really all about?" And he goes, "I don't really know. You know, like I just <laughs> the, you just like how it flowed and the words fit together, and it is it's nice imagery. Yeah. Same thing as like American Pie. They asked Don McLean. What does that song mean? And years and years and years, he's like, not telling, not saying. And then finally, like, like 30 years after the song was written, he's like, they asked him that question again. He says, just lean in and I'll tell you. And everyone's like, oh, he's finally going to tell us what it is. Because that song means I never have to work another day again. <laughs> 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 so sometimes you don't even need to know what yeah. what is. sometimes the meaning of songs in your art doesn't even come out until years later in that yeah. case it's not like <laughs> it's not the same thing but right like sometimes yeah. the, your art yeah. speaks to you 15 years after you did it and it was like that's what that means yeah. that's yeah. what that meant right yeah. write, write a song yeah. for no purpose yeah well it could and then mean, you stay yeah. present with what needs to be created well, yeah. and it could mean something totally different to different people you That's know especially exactly. like a song with fire and rain like you yeah. listen to um, it and you you may put you may you know reference your own life for you know yeah. things in it that he may not have intended but because of the way that he doesn't wrote make it, it, it any less for meaningful for somebody that can exactly. draw that yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, yeah i've heard a million different explanations for what the uh the flying machines and pieces on the ground like that part yeah i've heard a million different explanations for what that part means and like who knows? Yeah. They're, they're, it, it, that's we've talked about shared authorship before. Yeah. But that's really what it is. When you put something out into the world, you're not the only, you're not the sole author anymore. Everyone else decides what it means. Mm. Yeah. Unless you want to go around door to door and tell everyone what your song means. And I think they that's an important like thing about anymore. art is to be shared. It's to bring people together. It's to it's yeah to, it's community mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Wow. All right. Well, that was that was a that good was, little burst to come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, do we have the live stream up at all? I was gonna say we could check and see if. Uh... Oh wait, we're not live on Facebook, so we don't have a Facebook uh, comment section. But if you are watching and you do have any questions uh, and you have my number, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> go ahead and send them on through. I was gonna say I think Twitch is open on the laptop. If anybody's watching us on Twitch. We should be t t streaming to Twitch Creative, too, I think. Yes, and Facebook Susan Sites has a link. Awesome. Yes. Um, oh, actually, um, a, a little inside baseball here, but we should uh, just leave the camera running and stream it on uh, on Twitch Painting, too, and see if we get some people watching us paint Fun. our pictures. Fun. Cool. Yes. It's going to be so, a masterpiece. So head over to another Twitch stream after this one. To watch us paint a picture. <laughs> and then if you want to watch a more edited version, you can watch that later this week. 
But, um, so, yeah, do we want to just go get right into that then? Sure. Like, while the camera's rolling? We'll stop it and we'll start oh, it again yeah, in a minute. Yeah, yeah. So okay. they can tune back in for just painting Excellent. A little pa our own paint party. Woo! Yeah. All right, well, yeah. thanks for watching our first real uh, official live stream live. to Hoots Cast. <laughs> this will get more polished we as the weeks live. go on. <laughs> and we'll have all of our information at the bottom. But, uh, yeah, go check us out on Facebook. Uh, and Run. What, how Run can they find you on Susan Sites. Facebook, S E I T Z. And uh, check us out on Twitter and Instagram and all that. It's all up there in the uh, right above us. It's on SoundCloud. You just click up. We're all over the place now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look oh. us up on iTunes. Oh. All sorts of episodes. Oh. Yeah, there we go. All right. We're waving. Everyone wave together. Oh, yeah. Okay, group hug. Group hug. Group hug. Oh. Matt, hit the stop streaming thing. <laughs> <laughs> hit the stop streaming. Oh.